a zoo is standing behind his decision to shoot and kill an endangered gorilla over the weekend, saying they feared for a four-year-old's life. That child made his way into the gorilla habitat in Cincinnati, and with major scrutiny on the situation, parents out there might be wondering how their neighborhood zoo is keeping people away from those animals. Danica Lewis was at Henry Vila Zoo today to get us the answer. Even if families did hear what happened at the Cincinnati Zoo over the weekend, you couldn't tell by the crowds on Tuesday here at Henry Vilas Zoo. A lot of people coming out to see the animals, but likely keeping their kids a little closer. Maybe they should look at the rules before, anybody... before her lunch break. Or maybe they should just stay with their parents. Shayla Roble checked out one of the zoo's star attractions. Polar bears, we should stay away from them. And she is one insightful eight-year-old when it comes to safety. No, no, they're protective, really protective. And I heard some screams. I didn't know where they were coming from, and I stopped and heard them again and they were coming from the zoo. Back in 1988, Madison police shot and killed a male polar bear after a man climbed into the cage. So when you see Arctic Passage, you see giant 16-foot concrete walls and beautiful uh, windows for people to view through. All things to make visitors feel close while keeping them at a safe distance. We take each one of these opportunities to, to stop uh, learn and then apply. Deputy Zoo Director Jeff Halter says staff walked around the entire grounds Tuesday morning looking for barriers that aren't as safe as they could be. I mean, we had some signs made then put up so to kind of help inform guests. Halter adds his team has at least four emergency drills a year. One always simulating an animal escape or a visitor getting inside of an exhibit. Keeping the animals in and keeping the guests away from them is our, our primary tool to, to, to stay safe. The zoo does have firearms and tranquilizers on hand as well. You pull out the tools that you need in order to make the situation resolved as, as fast and as safe for um, everybody involved. Well, what makes it safe is that it has safety glass. Shayla says it's pretty simple. Parents need to make the rules clear. Don't go too far or stay right beside me. And kids need to follow them. And hold their hand really tightly. The staff here at Henry Vilas Zoo stresses that visitor safety continues to be top priority here. And if there ever were a circumstance where it was needed, police are only a few minutes away. For WISC News 3, I'm Danica Lewis. Well, and another reminder from the zoo, while these animals are in captivity, they are still wild and any visitor should give them space just like they would any animal out in its natural habitat.